Ciao, buongiorno, come state? So I'm on my way this morning to pick up some oranges. So I've told you about my egg guy. I've not told you that I have an orange guy. He sells them out of the back of his car. Buongiorno. I think he has a farm right outside the city. Sua campagna. Io zio. Bene, okay. Citrus is growing so beautifully and wonderfully and wildly here. There's just like clementine trees, orange trees. Grazie. Grazie a te. Got my oranges. Let's take them and you back home. Hi, welcome back to my apartment. If you're new here, hey, welcome to my channel. My name's Katie. I live in Southern Italy and you should subscribe to this channel if you like food, travel, and a lot of quirkiness. Come un bambino. So you all remember last week's video when I gave you a tour of my apartment here in Trani and I showed you questo aggeggio, this thing, this situation. I have no idea what it is. It came with the rental apartment and you all seem to think that it's a juicer. So let's find out. Oh, I got orangeified. Oh my gosh, and I just realized that I had this on upside down. Let's try again. Delicious. Didn't even know I had it. Thank you, everyone. Man. All right, and I've been enough of a tease. If you'll follow me this way, I will show you what you all requested I show you inside my fridge. Funny enough, the first thing I'm gonna show you is some miso. The reason it's funny is because we live in Italy and in the grocery stores, there's like next to no international cuisine. You find like soy sauce and that's it. There is an organic bio store in our town, which I'll go to for things like miso. What else here? Some panna fresca, just heavy cream. Always good to have. Some really good recipes that have become go-tos that I use panna fresca in, one of which is just a really simple lemon spaghetti, which is like a creamy lemon spaghetti. So good. An old jar of pandistelle chocolate hazelnut spread. And it is now where I keep my sourdough starter between, between times I use it for pizza night or whatever else. Speaking of pizza night, I had some leftover pizza, homemade pizza sauce here. Yogurt, I'm such a yogurt fan. I go through yogurt really quickly. Two kinds here. This was a treat I got myself at the pasticceria. I'm saving some of them for later. Or right now? Yeah, right now. These are the zapole. They are made specifically for San Giuseppe. Uh, he, it's his feast day, St. Joseph's feast day. 19th of, Mar of March. Oh, wow. And they only make them between now and then. There's a lot of really specific sweets that are for a specific day, for a specific time of year. I talked about it a bit around Christmas. Mmm. Time to get serious. A nice little tip. So this is ginger. Um, when you're going through ginger root, fill a little cup or a little bowl with water. It just stays better longer because I can use this as opposed to it completely drying out, shriveling up, and no longer being usable. Ginger and water, there you go. Oh, another fun, quite regional thing is called ricotta forte. So this is specifically from the Basilicata region, which is a region right next to Puglia, where I am. If you've had a ricotta, you'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. No, this stuff is super different. So it is a bit like Marmite or something, where you wanna put on a thin, 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 thin layer, otherwise it's too much. It's really packs a punch. It's excellent. Mmm, mmm. I'm just like gonna snack my way through the entire fridge. I hope you're cool with that. Black olives. I get black olives from my local market on the corner and they just put them in a big bag. So I come home and put black olives in random glass jars I have. This used to be filled with Nutella. <laughs> You'll see how I use it, this, this recipe that I keep teasing you all about. Here's how to make insalata di finocchio e arance. Orange, black olive, and fennel. Surprising combination, at least I thought so, but it's a traditional Sicilian combo. Mwah. It's amazing. One of my favorite things. And super, super, super 
or seasonal. Just thinly slice some fennel, slice some wedges of orange, put those black olives on top, drizzle some olive oil on it, put a little salt, a little pepper, you're good to go. Tin sardines in here. I actually got some sardines from the local fishmongers down right at the port and made my own preserved sardines. And they were so delicious. And it was really easy too. You just gut them, open them, and then put a mixture of salt and sugar on them and then bake them low and slow for a while and, and then pack them in a jar with olive oil. Excellent. And they really kept for a long time in the fridge. Okay, this is another thing we cannot get enough of. This is pepperoncini macinati, so cut up chilies in olive oil. These are basically the same. We love this stuff and we go through it so quickly that I tend to just stock up on it. It just adds this like lovely warming spice to things which we love. I got some really good preserves from Sicily. Apricot jam and this amazing almond. Like, I mean, it tastes like marzipan. Look at this. There's so many things that I enjoy here that I'm like, I don't even fully understand you, but I love you. So keep getting in my belly. Oh, all right. Preserves, I've got my pumpkin jam, which you saw me make in a previous video. Just more jam. I really like jam, if you didn't know. Got some capers in here. Again, just like nice to throw with certain pasta dishes and stuff. And so I don't always keep fruit in the refrigerator. Sometimes I'll leave it out and got a, a lot of tofu. Gotta get that protein, you know? I cook almost everything from scratch, but there are some times when either I don't have the time because I'm really banging on a video edit or whatever, um, and I just want something fast. That is when things like this really come in handy. So this is a mini burger, carrots and turmeric. So this is a veg burger with artichokes and dried tomatoes. Curious about that. Eggs, always stocked up on eggs vegetable drawer, several zucchini, carrots, parsley, beets. But now, the real star of the show is the cheese drawer. I got more cheese than typical because I wanted to taste them with you all. Cheeses are best eaten at room temperature. So I'm gonna take them out of the fridge right now and then we'll eat them in a little bit. All right, drinks. All right, got some San Pellegrino. La Ranchata is my favorite. It's not an everyday thing, but it is a special treat drink. And so is the Campari soda. Love that bitter Campari, it's so good. We got some Peroni beer here. I usually have some white wine in here, but I'm out at the moment. Show you. I got this again from the one very narrow, like international cuisine part of this organic store I go to. Passata di pomodoro, a base of so many Italian recipes. It's just tomato sauce. All important, sriracha. I ordered it specially for Connor for Christmas. Best Christmas present ever. <laughs> I could not find it anywhere in Italy. I could not find sriracha. I special ordered and coconut milk because who doesn't love coconut milk? We'll often have oat milk in here, almond milk, whatever. Just usually some kind of non-dairy milk in addition to milk. And we actually, we go through the non-dairy milk faster. This is kind of nicer butter that I will use to put on bread and stuff. This butter um, is for other cooking or baking purposes. Maple syrup and some Tabasco. Um, did you guys, did your parents put batteries in the fridge? Cause like mine did, so I just do as an adult. Not always. That's the fridge. Let's look at the freezer. I mean, you know, with all of the amazing gelato places in town, I, I got some non-dairy ice cream options that could be a treat for us. Connor prefers the non-dairy for his digestive situation. Sorry, babe, if you didn't want me to share that. I mean, I love the freezer. And so like this is some um, leftover pumpkin cake that I made when I did my pumpkin geek. Um, could not finish all of that. These are some of the chocolate pumpkin brownies that I made. I freeze bread on the regular because I love bread. I make a lot of it. I buy a lot of it. 
you know, for it to stay good for a long time, um, really just stick it in the freezer. I cut it into slices, and then when I'm ready to eat one, I just pop it in the oven. It gets that just bake quality. This drawer, basically my food scraps drawer. Now it's not my compost drawer because I have a compost bucket. Italy is really good about its food waste, which is amazing. These are like my cime di rapa stocks. So I ate the cime di rapa, the stocks I am saving and I'll make a broth with all this stuff. I put my fennel fronds, all of the trimmings from all of these vegetables, freeze them, and then when I wanna make a stock, I take it out and use it. It's the best. And now, last but not least, this, this last drawer, I've got some fresh spinach here. It's nice to throw in anything from a smoothie to some pasta, mixed frozen fruit, green beans, peas. I love this drawer. Right, so that was the fridge. You wanna eat some cheese now? Cause I do. Let's go to the other room for this. In terms of like my favorite Italian cheeses, these are the ones you've just gotta have. Telegio. It is stinky, soft, almost like a brie type of texture. Some ricotta salata, gorgonzola, crumbly, kind of like a stilton. Mm. One of my favorite ways to eat this is in a pumpkin risotto. Incredible. Ugh. Scamorza dolce. Absolutely excellent. Connor calls it like a spicy provolone, which I can get behind. Parmigiano Reggiano. I do, I have, I do sometimes eat Parmigiano Reggiano on its own with like a glass of bubbly. And I got some Asiago. I'm also going to taste some of this fresh mozzarella for you. They make this at the cheese shop in the back. Did you also know that I made cheese? I like lived on a goat farm and made goat cheese. Yeah, that was fun. So making cheese is a fun adventure. You can read all about it in my upcoming book that publishes in April, Cheese, Wine, and Bread. I'll put a pre-order link in the description box below. This is this fresh, fresh mozzarella. It's just like such a treat to go get it fresh and then put it on a pizza. <laughs> for our Friday night pizza night, one of our favorite things, really one of the perks of being in Italy. It's so good. So that's cheese. I hope you liked the fridge tour. The cheese part was the part that I was just waiting for the whole time, basically. So now that it's done, I guess we're done. Big thanks to all of my Patreon patrons, the Quirky Club. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support. Do you guys like videos like this? I mean, I'm locked down here in Italy, so let me know what else I can do in these parameters, basically. Well, that was fun. I hope you liked this video. Uh, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me again, and as always, last but not least, don't forget to keep it quirky. I'll see you all next week. Bye.